massive. The timber apparently has come from France. You see all the brash there that they've cleaned out. It's five o'clock in the, no it's not. It's 10 past four in the morning. I'm up, just boiling the kettle. John's picking him up. He's gonna drop me off at the airport. We're getting on a plane and we're gonna go somewhere to watch this space. First stop, Dublin for a changeover. Meet up with David, Mr. Haycat man himself, David Sowery. Oh, they've got the eating seats on. Just in Dublin airport, ready for the next flight, and you'll see where we're going to be in a minute. <laughs> Just landed in Turin, the next flight the plane's over there for us. See the mountains are any better from here than the plane, can't you? Properly flat. See if the shops are open from here, can't you? Yeah. The firewood process of the loading logs onto there with that grab. Then that's soaring up to the right length. And they go along this conveyor into there. And it's splicing them up. And they drop onto that conveyor. Come up there, get graded and sorted. Some go that way, some go that way. Away from a, a saw and an axe, haven't they? There's a room for the control. Gonna make kindling. Side of that saw blade. These are good buildings, it's like, I think it's a shuttered wall and then the steel just sits on the top. It's a good idea, isn't it? it smells lovely, it smells like, uh, it smells like Ikea, all this timber. Kindling in boxes. Mellow there. Ooh, something went wrong there. We're all a bit leany. What's this for here? Just filling bags, isn't it? Just a hopper. No idea. Like a dispenser. Oh, that must be what that must be what they grade them out of to put pack the boxes in the nets. I'm making one of these at the moment. This whole building's concrete, the rafters are concrete, the roof's concrete, the walls are concrete. How did they grow the trees? Just straight or is it just not windy? <laughs> the timber apparently has come from France. I don't know how they load that in there without hitting the roof. You couldn't grab it in, could you? Oh, I suppose they'll put it in from one end when they can't because it's full from that end. 
no idea. Other than the tyres, I think that's identical to one of ours. 3810, cab suspension, three section boom. Looks pretty new as well. The class is. Uh, yeah, class dealer. Yeah, he's another one. He's, an, he's not here, he's just a little service spot. It's on our way now to see if it was cheaper. We're just outside Turin and we're just going past a JCB and a Kubota dealership. And because of the mountains, it's nearly never windy around here. Yeah, like a, this huge central grain store. Maze. Maze. This is the first sort of dry river I've seen for about six months. Some good looking wheat and an AD plant next to some cattle sheds. You won't be able to drive on a field in the UK in no. January, not at all. <laughs> I told you it's dry, it's really dry. Yeah, we've had your rain. Mm. Never seen a 1042. Normally 1050s. This guy's gonna chip some stuff. Pretty similar to what we get in, really. Quite brashy stuff off the bottom of the river. And fresh as well. Triax. See how they tow everything over here, higher up than we do. No pick up pitch. It's a fairly big beast. Massive blower on it. You can see all the brash there that they've cleaned out. This is what Johnny Price did, isn't it? Clean the river out and ended up in prison for it. Able to show you better. Is that, is that solid? Yeah, it's solid. Wow. But it is not a tougher because uh, the wine, the second hand we have at home, is up to here, you know? So yeah. there is still more, more, more steel and more weight. Yeah. Short work of that pile.
there's some weight in the machine because it's hardly even rocking with that big crane swinging that weight of timber. This seat spins round what leaves the uh, pedals behind. is pretty mint because it's on 13,000 hours. That must have chipped some wood because it's not took long to do that. Even the trailer's looking fine. The tracks are six years old. I don't think it looked that old. The size of the back nuts. Let's finish that pile anyway in about five minutes. So obviously I'm in Italy, I'm just going to go and have something to eat. Now, not only have I seen a chipper working, we've then been around the factory where they build them, had a good look at that and some really, really, really big chippers, which you'll see more of tomorrow. I'll show you a picture at the very end anyway. So um, thanks for watching today. Ian's done the birthday bumper and I'll see you all tomorrow where you can see around the factory and some more chippers in action. On the bumper today, John Worthington is 75, Niall Fennell is 11, Matthew Johnston is also 11 and Ben Griffiths, happy birthday to you. We've raised 57,220 pounds.